And with regard to the Olympic Games, next year in Paris will be the first Olympic Games in history with a full gender parity because in cooperation with the international federations we changed the Olympic program. We introduced uh, more mixed events into uh, the program of uh, the Olympic uh, Games and all this uh, allowed us at the IOC then to finally to allocate the same number of uh, quota places uh, for male and uh, female uh, athletes. But we are not stopping there, uh, we are working on uh, the portrayal of uh, uh, women athletes and uh, the female uh, sports uh, with our world uh, broadcasters and with the media in general. What is uh, most important for, for the success uh, of uh, any games, including uh, the, the Pan American Games, is uh, the opinion of uh, the, the athletes. And uh, there I had the opportunity uh, to spend uh, a couple of hours uh, they're in the uh, village of uh, the Pan American uh, Games uh, with uh, athletes uh, from uh, uh, many, uh, many countries. What you could see there is uh, that uh, the, the conditions in, uh, in uh, Chile for these uh, Pan American Games uh, are, are really excellent. Uh, uh, they have excellent facilities and at the same time it uh, will serve for badly needed uh, social housing uh, projects uh, after uh, the Games. The athletes uh, in a village of uh, Pan American Games and even more so in the Olympic uh, Games are uh, a great demonstration and a great symbol of uh, peace and understanding. Because uh, you have uh, these athletes uh, who are uh, with each other in, in the maybe toughest uh, competition in, 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 in their athletics, in their sports life. But at the same time, uh, they are living under one roof in this village. At the same time, they are sharing their meals, uh, they are sharing uh, their emotions. Uh, they get to know each other. And uh, in this way, they create a dialogue and much uh, better understanding among, uh, among people and uh, they show to the world uh, that it is uh, possible to have such a fierce competition but to have such a fierce competition by accepting the same rules in the Olympic Games we are all equal and that you can have such a fierce competition in a peaceful way and I think this is a message the world needs now very much. When we took skateboarding on the program after the Olympic Games, uh, the traditionalists in the Olympic movement uh, said this is impossible and uh, you, you never should, should do this. And what happened finally? What happened was uh, that in, in, in Tokyo, when I met after two or three days, uh, the, the members of the skateboarding community, they were having tears in their eyes when uh, they were uh, informing me about their life in the Olympic Village, uh, when they were informing me how they experience this Olympic spirit. I think with these reforms, we have clearly reinforced the Olympic spirit and the Olympic values among uh, the young generation. And we have managed to get uh, young people or athletes uh, close to these uh, values and identifying with these values and promoting these values to whom we did hardly have any access before.